Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock around. in the middle yeah, of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some, uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a doc to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. <sighs> oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the doc. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Estarás bien. You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. You know, me parece... It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Me estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal? Doc? Going someplace? Coronel... It's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, and go no, no, no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No, no I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. You Dismissed, Corporal. Matt, I've been out in this shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I, I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. No one that it matters. Like Boozer says, I hear a bunk calling my name.
Move along, buddy. Move along. Deke. Corporal. Hey. Hey, Sergeant. Okay. Now come on in. Take a look around. Corporal St. John, Adik, see you around. One of ours. Let him in. Together. Keep it together. Corporal. Yes, hey, yes, Sergeant. Nothing today? Corporal St. John, you stay safe. Got that? Howdy there, Corporal. What's up? Good hey, work. Oh, I see. Corporal, goodbye and be safe. Corporal. Now, how's it going? Sergeant. Corporal, stay out of trouble. <laughs> That's all I got for now. Ah, uh, C C Corporal St. John. Hey, Serge. Well, th th there you go. Uh, see you, Corporal. Uh, keep that bike close, yeah? Corporal. Deacon. Good. Thank you for reporting in so quickly. It sounded urgent, sir. It is. We have another hostage situation. Hostage? Damn, it seems like every squatter within a dozen miles has it in for us, or for the... Militia, you know, I mean. It does seem that way. I've marked his last known position on your map. He's just a kid, St. John. Private Ross. Ethan. I sent him to track down a group of marauders, and he must have gotten in over his head. Private Ross. I don't know him, but uh, I'll get him out alive, Captain. Good luck, St. John. Dismissed. Why are you not finished with my obstacle course? Do you like that muscle? Do you want to run it again? Then be my guest, princess! Sergeant. Moving! Moving! Yes. Sergeant! Moving! Sergeant. Hold on, I got this. Colonel, reporting in. Oh, yes. Captain Curry is retrieving the prisoner as we speak. There's fair trial tomorrow. And the lag in the dusk. Fair trial? Of course. Every man to 
deserves a fair trial, and then a fair hanging by the neck until dead. Uh, yes, fair trial. Then, uh, all right, anyway, just reporting in, St. John. Beacon. Okay, where is it? Might be useful. An injector. Nero had all the good shit. had trouble concentrating. Oh, another one of those uh, micro recorders. Yeah, wonder what happened here. This is it. Yeah, I'm with you, Corporal. There's shit everywhere, so follow the smell. What do we got? <laughs> Still got this.
scrap. Let's go, open up. Uh, what was I doing? I'm a little gut sick. Thousands, maybe more, were moving up the highway on foot, like some kind of mad protest. Well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. No, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath. Dude, I could you check can't out. get what I need there. You. I think I would learn. I actually think I know where you get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just, I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? 
Well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm, pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in a ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to check on his status. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms it just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the Army once. You should know. That was different. How? Well, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? No, oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? I, we're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniform. You know, there is that. Where are we heading? Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were happy. Hey! Hey! Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from- To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. Jesus. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's going to report you. I mean, how's Matt going to take that? The colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh my god! What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. 
Um, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know, Boozer's arm got fucked up. And I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't going to let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all, I guess I didn't want to, I didn't want to let him down. So I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that, that's, that's when I really wanted to, that's when I really wanted to kill myself. <laughs> Right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring, and that's that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. But you know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? Must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tealson Tunnel. Need your help to move that out of the way. My God, what the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They <sighs> cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into him. You can help me move this or what? Yeah, sure. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a narrow checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. Hey, this looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. Wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Here, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been 751 days since your last login. Please wait. Well, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. <laughs> it's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh, 
my god. What is it? Nothing. It's... What the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power's still on. That's... 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on! Go, 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 go! <laughs> infected. It's what's made them so hyper-aggressive. Makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. You okay? Come on. All right. What the hell happened? Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Let's go, come on. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Aerie? Why is Aerie working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and th that was with weekly maintenance. And <laughs> now it's been, what, two years?
It's him, and I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir, what? you know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. My God, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh, God, let us in! Is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot a match. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people, and if Jim's in there, he's gonna let Jim, us in. Jim? Jim, the rent -a cop Jim? <sighs> Jim who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up? Deacon, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Get down. Mother fuck. You were saying? Yeah. Now this world has taught me one thing. Trust no one, expect the worst. And I'm beginning to see your point on that. Stay up here and give me cover and fire. Do whatever you can to distract them. I'll signal you when it's clear. Security Shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Voices are fucking crazy. I'm with you there. Hey, you! Did whoever's shooting, just stop! I have clearance to be here! You can check the computer! My name is Sarah! We're a career search specialist! Okay. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Alert. Security personnel to the main. Warning. 
Tanks are on their stand. It's clear. Coming. Alert. Alert. This is a level four alarm. We gotta get up those Multiple stairs shots have been fired. Garbage. Security personnel. All right, thank you. Huh? Open fire! What do you say now, huh? Come on, kill him! Incoming! Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. They're down! They're down! Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Clear. Police are on their way. Coming. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Alert. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. It's locked. Security Hold on. Personnel Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker, security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. Repeat. Override. ID 2007659. Override. Security protocol Alpha 761 has been overridden. Oh, God, shut the fuck up already. They must not have locked out inner security. You ready? Yeah, this time, let me go in first. Hey, this time, Alert. we go in together. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. There's more of them! I see them! One more time. Stand down and you will not Sarah Irene harm. Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Well, ready? Yeah. Alert. Alert. Get this goddamn door locked out. Alarm. No. Jim, wait. That son security of a bitch. Well, like you said, a lot's changed.
Same here. I remember taking this photo. Huh. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Okay, it's clear. They're waiting for us. <laughs> Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Come on, let's try the door. Sarah Irene Alert. Whitaker, ID 2007659, security four. override and disable the fucking voice response. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Fucking bitch! Hey, hey! Going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Well, maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Climb up to the roof from that AC unit. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take them by surprise. Okay, that's a really good plan, but uh, there's uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked out. Remember? Oh, shit. Come on, come on. I have an idea. What? Put your hand on that reader. Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. Alert. All right, here's your ID Alert. code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? Yeah, let's go. All trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Here. I'm gonna need you to help me out. Okay, hold on. Alert. Alert. <clears throat> 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Ready? Yep. <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Wait until I get their attention, then you go in. Hey, alert. don't take any chances. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel. Okay. Go. Hey, what's going on? Warning. Deadly force. Jim Moore! Incoming. What's wrong? I know oh, that's there. my cue. Answer me, goddammit! Deacon Lee, St. John. ID 5429009. Good morning, Deacon Lee, St. John. Welcome to Cloverdale Research Fire View Facility. This is your first target. Please disable voice response. Come on, get her! Damn it, she listened to me! Is 
authorized. <sighs> Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand and you will not be harmed. Jim go scurrying into the office up there. Warning. <sighs> Deadly here. force is authorized I'll bring him for to use you. against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. God damn it, I said hands! Uh, all right, all right, just, just tell me what you want. Okay, all right. He's clean! We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? But you didn't want that, did you? We just couldn't take the risk. Get up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jim. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. <laughs> Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. I didn't want to believe it. What are you talking about? God, this is my fault. I, I don't understand. You're I should fault. have seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow 
wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? Sorry. David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I don't classified know. project, just he slow wanted, down and... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit, and I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell, and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could you understand. Have stopped? It's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha